I'm James Tracy, and I would like to welcome you to Memory Hole Blog's YouTube channel. MHB was launched in March of 2012 as an extracurricular writing project when I was a tenured associate professor of journalism at Florida Atlantic University. The blog gained notoriety a year later in 2013 after I published a series of posts analyzing what I consider to be as very intriguing press coverage of the Sandy Hook school massacre and the Boston Marathon bombing. Perhaps we as a society have um, been conditioned to be duped. It became quickly apparent to me how the mainstream media did not really appreciate having their coverage of these events questioned. And so, as a result, they tried to get me fired by creating a, a whole lot of publicity around myself and the blog and attaching my blogging to the fact that I was a professor. And at the time, my bosses at FAU essentially said, look, our board of trustees really don't like all this controversy and what you're doing with the blogging, but we really can't do anything about it because it's, after all, free speech. A few years go by and the same administrators came to me and said, sorry, but you haven't filled out these forms to have your blog, so we're going to have to fire you. And I said, what? So four years later, I'm still in federal court with the university over my job. I didn't go into academia to make a lot of money. Uh, it sounds pretty idealistic, but I really wanted to contribute to making the world a better place. And I believed, and I, I still believe, that teaching and the creation and sharing of knowledge can help to do that. I believe that that's true if you're just reaching one other person and revealing something to them in a way that they've never seen it or considered it before. And that's what good journalism does as well. Most journalists I've found I come in contact with believe that if they can get the truth out there, some good will come out of it. But now more than ever, truth tellers are punished for saying anything of substance. It's like we've returned to the rule under the British crown in the 18th century, which held that truth was not a defense. And the greater the truth, the greater the slander, the greater offense. And I don't know if it's possible to be committed to truth and certain principles and be a part of the university system in the United States any longer. Professors are now getting fired for simply saying something that one person or one group or another claim to be offended by. My idea of any learning environment is to challenge people. And if you can't take it, there's no way you can actually learn and broaden your horizons and, and grow as an individual. Fortunately, we still do have the internet and the local coffee shop or the pub Provided we social distance, there are a lot of really talented bloggers and YouTubers than me, but I'm here to try my best in the same way I was when I started down uh, the road to teaching 25 years ago. So I really hope you like some of what you see here, and thanks so much for stopping by.